Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from LearnColorGrading and FilmSimplified.com and today we're going to be discussing one of the least discussed curves in DaVinci Resolve ever. Now, DaVinci Resolve has a lot of curves and one of the curves that were like very rarely discussed is the hue versus luminance curve. Now, one of the reasons this curve was not discussed as much is because it was very tricky to work with. It was very hard to work with. So most people kept away from it. Um, rarely people used it. It was very tricky to get good results out of this curve, even though it's very, very important. However, in DaVinci Resolve 14, things changed. Blackmagic Design really tweaked this curve to make it easier to use, so more and more people can use it. If you come to DaVinci Resolve here, you have your curves, and one of the curves you have here is Hue versus Luminance. Now, when you hear the name, it's very easy to understand. It basically changes the luminance of certain hues or certain colors in the image. So for example, you can pick reds and increase the luminance of red, for example, or reduce the luminance of blue. So let's take a look at it. This is the curve here, and I have all the colors. So for example, red, yellow, green, blue. As in, I'm sure you know, just by clicking one of these buttons here, you'll have three points. So the point in the middle will, you know, control the particular color you're working with. In this case, it's uh, green. And the other two points will work as placeholders, preventing your changes to green from affecting the rest of the curve. So let's reset. Now, in this image, we have this yellow bar here. Let's choose yellow, for example, and I'm simply going to work on bringing it down. So notice what's happening. I'm bringing down the exposure of yellow. I'm not sure how to explain how important this is. Now, this curve has always been there, but in previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, if you brought the yellow down, you would reduce a lot of, you know, unwanted uh, effects in the image because of the threshold of the curve. However, now with the new way the curve works, I can simply, for example, come to red here and notice what's happening to her face. I'm increasing or reducing the exposure on her face simply by adjusting the exposure of the red colors in the image. So now take a look at the yellow. I'm bringing the yellow down and I have a lot of this color here. I think it's blue. Let's just make this a bit wider and notice what's happening in the background. So I can fundamentally change the image simply by changing the hue versus luminance, adjusting the luminance of different colors. Now, not to say that you couldn't do this before, even in other ways, like you can key the color you want and control its exposure, but the point here is that it's unbelievably fast and easy now. So, like take a look at this image, for example, if I simply click here, now I can control the exposure of the area outside the window. See how effective that is? simply by adjusting just one control inside the Vinci Resolve. And one of the ways I like to use this curve now is to simply add all the points for all the colors and just play around checking how they affect the image. So I'm just going to click on every color here and then I'm gonna start with reds, take a look at their faces, how I'm changing the exposure. Let's see what yellow does. Yeah, yellow works the same way. Green, one second. Oh, take a look at her shirt here. Take a look at what's happening now when I increase or reduce cyan. Blue, I think it will affect his shirt. Oh my God, look at his shirt now and look at his shirt when I bring the uh, controller down. Yeah, much better. Now, take a look at the image before these adjustments and after. How we managed to change the lighting in the image to a certain extent just by tweaking uh, the exposure of different colors. Again, another image. I'm just going to add all the points I have here, starting with red. See how they are affecting the exposure of reds, yellow. Wow, take a look at the background here. When I reduce or increase the exposure of yellow, green. And oh my god, take a look at the sky here, how I'm affecting the exposure of the sky. Again, the sky and much better. Take a look at the image before these adjustments and after and notice that all this happens simply by a very fast control to our hue versus luminance curve. Again, on this image, take a look when I control red, how I'm controlling the exposure and I'm changing the look of the entire image simply by controlling the reds, the exposure of the reds. Yellow, I think we'll have a lot to do with cyan here. Yeah, much better. Blue. 
So, as you can see, this is one of the most important curves in DaVinci Resolve. However, due to its um, settings on previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, it was very tricky to use and most people just stayed away from it. However, now you can use it to its full potential. And please visit us at LearnColorGrading and FilmSimplify.com. Thank you.